welcome back to my channel. What is me, Ricky Thompson, and what is God? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Let me do that again. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. What is me, Ricky Thompson, and what is God? Hello, you guys. Now, before we start this video, I have a little commercial break for you guys. So, I'd like to thank my beautiful people at Casetify for sponsoring this video. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I am obsessed with Casetify cases because, because Casetify cases are cute, they're protective. Also, you see that? Yes. Casetify, they got me this brand new iPhone 11. Yes, baby, the brand new iPhone 11. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some of y'all out here rocking your tens or your eight or your sixes, but bitch me. <laughs> I'm rocking the 11, so thank you so much, Case for my brand new phone. So, like I said, I love a cute, protective case, and that is exactly what Case is giving me. So, you know, if you drop your phone, Case has you protected. Um, Case has like these cute little bumpers. Can y'all see that? Like these bumpers right here is what protects your phone when it drops, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like I love a cute case that's gonna protect your phone. Okay, so here is the case defy drop test. Here we go, let's drop it. <laughs> oh my God, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Look at that, look at that y'all. Look, look, where are the cracks? Where are the cracks? Where are they? Because they're not here, because why? Case Defy will protect your phone, period. Anyway, if you're looking for a case that's cute and protective, go ahead and click the link in my description below and get yourself a Case Defy case. Now you know, I always got some special perks for you guys, so when you get your Case Defy case, before you check out, you can use my discount code 20RICKY to get 20% off your purchase, baby. You know that's really good, like what's up? <laughs> what's up, so y'all, Go get yourself a case to five case today. But anyway, I'm gonna stop on rambling and let's get back to this video. So you guys, today for this video, I am here with my roomie, my best friend, my everything, Maggie Lindemann. Yes. Hey. Hello, welcome. Hey. You haven't been my channel in a long time. No, it's been years. It's been years. Like, oh my God, you're grown now. You're 21. You're thriving. You're looking amazing. I am obsessed with it. Like, I'm so happy that you were here to be like filming this video with me, girlfriend, so thank you. Thanks, thank you, I'm oh gonna God. eat. Yes, girl, we're gonna eat. Okay, so for this video, we are gonna be doing a junk food mukbang, you know what I mean? So, we made ourselves some food, we went grocery shopping today, very adult. What you eating, girl? So, I made some pasta, and mm -hmm. it has pink sauce, and then I add sriracha to make it spicy. And then we got some blackberries and some, what do you call? Um, Simone? Oh God, you are almost a mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got Samoas. Samoas. Samoas, girls have cookies, the best girls have cookies. And a ramen. Ooh, love that. Okay, so what do I have? So, you know, I got myself some waffles, you know, egg rolls, cinnamon toast waffles, some grilled chicken, some vegetable egg rolls, you know, some cake cod chips, and some Fruit Loops, and some juice. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. <laughs> I'm so it. hungry. You struggling, girlfriend? <laughs> come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god, it's like literally going into my hand. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> oh, we need to let people look. Look at you struggling. You a weak girl. Look at you. Come on. You are a woman. Come on, you are a woman! Feminism! Period. Honestly, let me try this egg roll. Where the fuck did you get an egg roll from? You Come bought on. egg rolls? Mm -hmm. I do. It don't taste that good either. <laughs> you thought an egg roll from the grocery store from Target? I know from Target. Mm -hmm. You wanna taste it? Oh, that was good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the most chicken parts. The good egg roll. Looks so sad. Good. Uh huh. Wow. Thank you, Bob. Where's the So, Maggie, let's talk about how we became the bestest of friends. Do you remember? Oh my God. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, I first met you at Playlist Live. 
Yup. Yup. Um, that was crazy. That was like in 2015? Was that a dead time? 14? 15? I don't remember. I turned dead time? I turned t t 19. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky was 19 we were all like 15. <laughs> Hanging out with us. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was honestly so like... <laughs> I was I wasn't old, but I mean everybody was hanging out with each other, like all ages. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Like, Ricky's an old man. I'm not an old man. I have not even turned 25 yet. When I turn 25, oh! <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> well, be careful, because it's coming up. I know, it's coming up. I'm 23 and thriving now. You know. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so scared of getting old. Uh-uh. Um, I'm definitely like when I get old and start getting like wrinkly, I'm definitely gonna get like Botox and stuff. Like, oh, I, girl. I don't wanna be like wrinkly and old. Me too. Full face will be done. Which sounds bad, but imagine that just like uh, <laughs> getting old and wrinkly. Uh uh. You think I'm gonna look like a sad like leather bag? <laughs> <laughs> you know what sad leather looks like? It's It looks stretched. It's old, it's wrinkly. I don't wanna look like that. I wanna be tight. Yeah. I want my face to look matte, to look tight, to look fresh, look young. Not like old people are so cute, but I just personally don't wanna be old. Yeah, old people are so cute. I uh -huh. love people. <laughs> but. Not me. I don't know. The thought of getting like old and my face changing. Until, I like, know. I love being so, young and hot. So scary. I know. Young and hot is so fun to be. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, really, yeah. Like if you had the opportunity to stay like young and youthful forever, would you do it? Like, do you want to grow old? No. I'd rather just grow old. You'd rather grow old? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Because there's some people in the world who don't even like who like want to go on and stuff. But, like, what if like my yeah. soulmate wants to go on? No. No, I mean I wouldn't want to live forever. You just, but you would say young forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just young until I would die. I wouldn't want to like get. Old. So you're saying that you wouldn't be like you wouldn't look. <laughs> Twenty one when you're ninety. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That'd be crazy. Ew, gross. That'd be so crazy. That'd be so weird. That's weird. That's what they tuck everlasting shit. You remember that? that. Do you remember that book though? Y'all remember yeah, tuck I everlasting? So. I mean, it sounds kind of familiar, but I don't really. I don't tuck everlasting was like. That book about the girl who drank from the fountain. Not the fountain, but the tree. And she like stayed young forever. And she was like in love with that boy. He was like 800 years old. He was old or she was old? He was old because he had drank from the fountain. Oh, okay. No. No. She didn't. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't drink. So I think that was like, he was sad about it. I think. I don't know. But yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but this maybe is. <laughs> it's a butt! <laughs> you don't read! Do you read? <laughs> do you read? Hell no! <laughs> Girl, I did not read. A book is dead in my hand. No, like. I read my bank statement. Like, what? Period. I don't read anything. I don't read my mail. Girl, me. <laughs> Girl, I just okay. I don't read People anything. always say like, oh, reading is good for the brain, but reading stresses me out. Yeah. It stresses me out. Too I'm many like, words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at reading. I'm like stuttering on every. Me. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Girl, me. I'm gonna say like basic words. I'm like, oh. Girl, don't give me a reading class. <laughs> don't ever. I would never want to hear you reading. It was actually awful. I literally made fun of you. <laughs> the thing is, when I would read in class, like I'd be like following like the words, whatever, but then my eye would go over to the next page and I would just replace <laughs> that word with the word that's supposed to be coming. <laughs> I was that weird kid. But yeah. you know, hey, like English, the English was like one of my strongest subjects. It, really? Mm, it was. That's honestly a shock. Until senior year when I had decided to be bold and take AP English. <laughs> so stupid. You're like, I got a B, so I'm gonna take an AP class. Right? Honestly, junior year English, I took honors English, it was so easy. Like, I got like a high B in that class. Yeah. I got a, it was so easy. The girl, AP? AP English is stressful. It's I never stressful. took any AP classes. Oh, really? 
See, you had to be that person. Because I thought I was going to go to college. I really thought I was going to go to college, be a lawyer. <laughs> I know, a lawyer girl. You as a lawyer would be actually terrifying. Like, I would never hire you to be my lawyer. You Why? would suck. Girl, I would get you, you out in cases. Girl, let me out. <laughs> You're like... Mm. What? I'm like, what? You're a terrible arguer. Uh-uh, I was a... <laughs> Ricky's the worst. I'll just be like, and what? And what? I'm like... Exactly, that that will like tear down. It is done! And what? And what? And what? And what? And what? I hate when uh, people uh, say that. Uh, I'm like, okay, then what's the point of this? Well, I hate bitches like you. Because <laughs> I'm mature and Ricky's immature. I hate people like you. Because y'all the ones over here... Oh, this is so fun. I'm gonna stop talking about this. Y'all should walk away. Uh uh, and I'm gonna chase after you. What's that? I know you do. You never just leave me alone. I'm like, I'm like, I need to be heard. I will not be silent. Speak <laughs> <laughs> up. <laughs> what were you going to school for? Uh, uh, tell what you going to school for. What? Pediatric oncology nursing. Maggie thinks she can do that. I'll let you do that. That's like dealing with kids with cancer, right? Mm hmm. You cannot do that. Your attention span is too. <laughs> you would not know what to do. Girl, I would never allow my kid to be in the hands of your puss. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Yeah, but I also wanted to go for track, which is probably what would have happened. Go for what? The nursing was like the dream. And <laughs> track was like my reality. Oh my god, you could be like the Olympic. Mmm, you could be in the Olympics. Yeah. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah, that would have been cool. I wanted to be in the Olympics. <laughs> For what? <laughs> the high jump. <laughs> oh my god, you know I high jumped. You you high jumped? Yeah, only for like, I didn't even compete in it. I just like practiced it. <laughs> I would love to see you high jumping. It's actually really hard. You have to like do like certain techniques like get over the pole. Mm-hmm. You can't just jump. Yeah, that's why when you see people do it, they're like... <laughs> Weird. That's weird. I think I was I think I was just put on this earth to be a star. <laughs> so it is what it is. Oh my god. That's what I told myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting bullied. I was like, it's okay one day. <laughs> it goes far. <laughs> I was that kid too. I know Ricky's like upside down in the trash can just thinking. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I'm be a star. That was me. I said, you know what? You can laugh at me now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna rue the day. <laughs> Not rue the day. You're gonna rue the day! Oh, look at me now. I like, it was like my vision and my dream to work hard so I could be somebody. I was always somebody, but now I'm Ricky Thompson. <laughs> that was like some spoken word poetry. I mean, that's how I feel. I like wake up every day and I'm like, wow, you did that, bitch. You did that. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Oh my god, I was such. Like, don't even get mad when I say this. I was such a loser. I was such a loser. I was a freak. I was... <laughs> Not a freak. Not a freak. You know, I was like, the, we were like the underdog. And you know what made me a loser is the fact that I let those dirty, stanky kids treat me the way they treat me. Honestly. Right? Oh my god. If someone ever tried to like, talk to me like that now, I'd be like, excuse me. What? I'm like, let me stand up real quick. What was said? Yeah. Like, I'm really ready. I'm really ready. Hands on deck, period. I, I'm ready. So do you think that you could ever, like, bully someone the way those bullies bullied you? No. No! I have the energy for that. For what? Who cares? Who cares? Like, who cares? I just understand it. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I just literally don't care. <laughs> it's probably not as serious. It's just not. If you're a bully in school right now, honestly, you need to get it together. Get it together. It's bad karma, too. You're gonna it's bad karma. All my bullies are so ugly right now. Ugly. Built wrong. I just can't stand someone it. Someone that used to like bully me DM'd me on Instagram recently and was like, uh, "Hey, do you remember me?" Or like, "You probably don't remember me." I was like, "Bro, I remember you." 
Same. <laughs> like, nah. same. I can never get away. You probably don't remember me. Like, no, bro, you made me want to die. It's for real. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Like, why are you talking to me now? Like, you don't let bygones be bygones. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I don't believe that. My bygones don't want to be bygones. Exactly. Leave my bygones alone. <laughs> they don't want to be bothered. They said bye. You know, like, I'm done. Like, I can't stand bullies. Like, honestly. If you are a bully, and you're watching this, and you're like, oh my god, like, I'm so proud of Rick. I went to school with him. Shut the fuck up, and honestly, leave me alone. Like, honestly, don't sign my DMs. Don't say, oh my god, how are you? Don't. Okay? Don't. Because you would mess around treat me like I was the ain't shit. But now I am the shit. And now you want to holla. So the answer is no. Thank you. Here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Here we are. <laughs> Okay, Miss Maggie. Well, if you guys did not know, Maggie is over here. She's in a relationship. Maggie Lindemann is in a relationship, and how does it feel? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you blushing right now? Because I love him. I love Brandon. I love Brandon. I love him. I love him. I love him so much. You guys are so cute. Oh, thanks. Yeah, in a relationship. It feels great. Very single, lovely. Huh? Being single is ugly. Yeah. Maybe but... Oh, you looking at me? Ricky had a man or whatever. But... Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I am so happy right now because, you know, y'all know, my relationship life is just honestly so disgusting. Y'all know I really have been through everything. Like, come on now. But, y'all... Y'all, like, you know, I'm like talking to somebody right now. And honestly, he's cute. He is so cute. Like, honestly, like, I'm like obsessed with him. Like, honestly, I really am. Like, I like literally like everything about him. Our music tastes are so similar. Our like movie taste is so similar. Um, our fashion is similar, you know. He does his own thing. Oh my god, like, I'm so into him. And like, I was really afraid to talk to him at first because he's a Scorpio. And ooh, oh my, my past god. Scorpio is honestly disgusting ill. Like, I've talked to two other Scorpio guys, they both did me dirty. So, you know, yeah, but this guy right here, he gives me the energy I've always been wanting, like, from a guy. Like, literally. He treats me so nice and honestly scares me because I've never been treated this nice before ever. That. Like, ever. Ever. Like, oh my god, it kind of scared me. I'm like, oh my god, I do not want him to hurt me. Oh I my don't. god, I know. I do not want him to hurt me. Because I'm like, oh my god, if he hurts him, be so sad. I'm like, damn. Damn! I'll ah! be so mad because I like him that much. Like, I have dreams. I think about him. <laughs> I think about him all the time. <laughs> oh. I get so like, oh my god, when he texts me, like, I get so excited. Like, wow, I love his energy. I'm like really into him a lot, so... Oh my god, I really hope so I'm right. So pray for Ricky, manifest it. Please, I'm manifesting it. Manifest it into your life. Oh yeah, for real. I manifest that I'm gonna be talking to him for a while. Like, I actually really do like him. Like, I really do. Like, I'm gonna go see him next yeah. week. I thought it was this week. The, no, next, next week. Weekend. Next week, not this weekend, next weekend. Uh, next weekend. I'm gonna see my boot thing. What? What? Oh god, what? It's this weekend. No, it's not this weekend. It's next weekend. I'm so excited. Let's talk about astrology. Oh, you want to talk about astrology? Let's get into <laughs> it, sis. Scorpio, so let's. You get talk into about it. it. Okay. Oh, look at you using my term. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about, let's talk about it. it. Okay, what, what sign do you want to start with first? Scorpio. Scorpios are crazy. Like, I actually kind of like Scorpios. I feel like I get along with them really well. But. They're scary. They're scary. They're so scary. And they're like kind of evil. They mess around, they sting you, and they, they don't care. They sting you, and they don't care. That is bad. That's bad. They're just like mean. They're so mean. Yeah. They're so mean. Yeah. Ooh, they are so mean, but you know, hey, I like the energy. I love the energy. Like, I wish I had Scorpio energy. Me too. It's but, it's so hot. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah. This is very, like, like, I run the shit. Yeah. Confidence. I love it. Mm. My God. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's talk about Aries. Oh <laughs> my god! Talk Aries are the worst. If you're an Aries, I'm so sorry. This really only goes to guys. Kind of. Like, mm. uh, I've not. Uh, I've I really have some a... Aries girls, but most of the time, I just don't really like Aries. I don't know. I don't bond with them well. I don't get along with them. Mm -hmm. But they're literally so crazy and manipulative. 
and they like to get under your skin. They're the type to like make you mad and then be like, huh, you're so hot when you're mad. Literally. Yeah. I, Aries, oh my god. Aries men, like I don't understand why they act like that. Like I'm like, where does your mind take you for you to act like that? Like I don't know. I remember I was talking to a guy, you know what it is. I was talking to a guy and he had a whole ass girlfriend and over here saying all this, you know, sexual stuff to me, really trying to talk to me. I'm like, bro, you have a girlfriend, you need to respect her. I'm just being goofy. Like you're hurting my, you're hurting my feelings. What? <laughs> what? Being goofy. What? Don't do that. I like what? No. Like leave me alone. If you have a girlfriend, I tell them I'll say, if you have a girlfriend, you need to leave me alone. Yeah. But why? You have a girlfriend. Yeah, what do you mean boy? Like why? I ain't got time for it. I just don't. So Yeah. yeah. Aries man, ooh. Y'all are something else, let me tell you, yeah. okay? Let Aries me tell are you. like silly, they're like goofy. They're very goofy. But That's what attracts me to Aries because they're so goofy. Yeah. And I love goofy guys. Aries. I really do. They're very goofy. But I don't really have much to say about Aries girls. Me neither. You know. I don't have a problem with one. Uh, you have a problem with one? Uh, uh, mm, I don't think I've ever. Mm, I don't think I've ever had a problem with an Aries girl. I just feel like sometimes I'm around an Aries girl. I'm like, why would you do that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh my God. Like, I have like multiple Aries friends. And, like, one of my Aries girlfriends would do something. I'm like, why would you do that, girl? Like, why? And they don't care. They don't. Yeah. It is what it is. They don't yeah, care. Yeah, literally, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It's like, well, it's fine. You did it. Yeah, for real. It's like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yo. But yeah, other than that, that's all I have to say about Aries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cancers? Are they cancers. I love Cancers because Cancers and Aquarius is like we're literally just alike. We cry. We get mad. We want to fight. Um, you know, we really like let you know what's up. Like honestly, we, we do really not hold our tongues. We really don't. Yeah. I, we speak our mind. Yeah, I speak my mind. I speak my mind. We're Sometimes it's kind of mean, but Ooh. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to like tell you how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like an assassin. Yeah, it, yeah, sometimes it's kind of mean, but it's meant with love, but it's just kind of mean. What else? They're kind of manipulative, which is bad, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying kids in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. But they're so cute and happy. But the thing is, I feel like so with... I love <laughs> cancers, they will manipulate you, mm -hmm. but not like in a mean way. It's just like it's like damn. it's usually yeah yeah it's not like mean it's not mean a uh, Scorpio now will manipulate Scorpio, you it's, and Ooh. it's like mean intention yeah but like I feel like with cancers it's just usually to like get their way mm hmm they do or like mm -hmm. manipulate a situation to get their way yeah is that how you act sometimes yeah mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm yeah mm -hmm. like especially when I was like young in high school it's my parents oh yeah. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do, mom. Yeah, it was very like. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. Just like that? Yeah. Oh. I, like, I wanna do what I wanna do, mom. I'm grown, I'm mom. I'm gonna do it. I'm grown. I'm 16 and I'm fucking no right now. Did you ever tramp stamp? Yeah, I got removed when I was 18, though. Were you that girl, like, at school who were like camis and jean skirts? No. <laughs> you have a girl? Hmm? You didn't have those girls? Those yeah. girls in high school who were like camis and jean skirts with little bell and rings. What year did you go to school? <laughs> when he was in high school in 03. <laughs> <laughs> I was not. No, there were like girls in my middle school who had their belly button peers. I wanted my belly button peers for Like in like middle school. But the, my boyfriend, the guy I was dating, was like, belly button rings are ugly. So I never got one. They're so odd. No, I just kind of grew out of it. Oh. Oh, come on, Miss Belly Button Ray. <laughs> so, there's like this new tick that I have that I picked up today. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and it's honestly, like, I don't understand why I keep doing it, but I just got really good at it, and this is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Tell me what you did. <laughs> <laughs> so... So today I was at the grocery store and I was feeling like really kooky or whatever and this woman was like coming into the aisle and we made eye contact and when she looked at me I literally just did 
<laughs> and she was honestly so concerned. I think she was like looking for her lost child. Yeah, it's like, Sean! Sean! Me! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just start. Her. You can't even do it, do it. I can't even do it. What? <laughs> It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. One more time, I said it's so hard. To say goodbye to 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 <laughs> giving you notes on you hopes. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you, Maggie Lindemann, for coming to my channel. And literally talking about, I don't know what we talked about. I really I don't, don't know. I feel like this video is going to be very jumbled. But that's our friendship. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Also in the comments below, what is your favorite activity that you and your best friend do? There you go. That sounds exactly right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. What is your favorite activity that you and your best friends do? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know and maybe we'll do that activity. But anyway, I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, always remember, say it with me, kids. Peace, love, and swag. You like dumb my shit, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm staring into the distance. <laughs>